Hello and welcome everyone to Columbia Public Schools, Columbia Area Career Center's ICANN virtual ceremony. My name is Mrs. Melanie Ryan and I'm one of the assistant directors at the Career Center. CACC would like to congratulate the following ICANN students for the 2020 fall semester. Determination of student awards were based on workplace expectations observed by our instructors. Workplace expectations include positive attitude, reliability, professionalism, initiative, responsibility, respect, integrity, and gratitude. To view the complete list of winners, visit www.career-center.org. Arts and Communication. Joel Adjokache from Hickman High School, nominated by Ms. Denicky for his initiative and responsibility in the digital media class. Joel is driven and determined to get all his projects completed. He works on a concept until he understands and is not afraid to ask questions. He is respectful of others in the class and shows gratitude each time I assist or answer his questions about an assignment. It is a pleasure to have Joel in class. Rebecca Baldwin from Battle High School, nominated by Mr. Wade for her initiative and responsibility in the digital media class. Focused, determined, and diligent, Rebecca is an all-star student who consistently pushes the boundaries in digital media. She takes the initiative to manage her time efficiently while also producing beautiful works in Photoshop and Illustrator. I appreciate Rebecca's unrelenting work ethic. I'm looking forward to seeing what she accomplishes next. Amaya Carson from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Mr. Whitman for her positive attitude in the broadcast TV internship class. Amaya, you have done a great job expressing a positive attitude throughout this unconventional school year. I always appreciate the energy you bring to your work. Your general approach to things has encouraged your classmates to have positive attitudes as well. Thanks for always looking on the bright side. Your wonderful attitude will help you succeed in college and wherever life takes you. Rose Hens, a homeschool student, nominated by Ms. Morrow for her initiative and responsibility in the digital media class. Rose is a very focused and dedicated student. She never misses class, is always on time, and consistently participates with thoughtful responses. She asks good questions and always contributes positively. I appreciate her outstanding effort and creativeness when completing the design assignments in digital media. I can always count on Rose to meet deadlines and submit her projects with a creative touch while following all instructions. I enjoy having Rose in class and look forward to seeing what she will do next. Congratulations, Rose. Latrell Hickam from Battle High School, nominated by Mr. Wade for his professionalism in the graphic design and visual communications class. From producing superb designs to asking thought-provoking questions, Latrell stands out as a student that defines professionalism. Through punctuality, participation, and perseverance, Latrell possesses traits that exhibit his ability to navigate a real-world work environment. Latrell is clearly a powerful leader that his peers look up to for support and guidance. I am so lucky to have Latrell in class and I can't wait to see what he accomplishes next. Kaylee Hildahl from Hickman High School, nominated by Ms. Denicky for her professionalism in the digital media class. Kaylee is consistently prepared and on time for class. She is always smiling and willing to answer questions. Her work is turned in prior or by the due date and she puts effort into every assignment. She is an excellent example for her classmates. It is a privilege to have Kaylee in digital media this year. Her smile and effort brighten up the day. Isabel Johnson from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Mr. Whitman for her professionalism in the Broadcast TV One class. This year has been challenging, Isabel, but your work in our Broadcast TV One class has been exceptional. While working on projects, utilizing a phone is not the easiest task. Your projects still have professional quality. This is not something I see very often in a broadcast TV one student and you should be proud of yourself. Thanks for bringing your best work to my class and participating in a very professional manner. Carmen Marr from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Ms. Morrow for her initiative and responsibility in the graphic design and visual communications class. I look forward to our graphic design class knowing Carmen will be present. She has a positive attitude and a cheerful smile. She never misses class and adds to class discussions. She is always present. I can count on Carmen to meet deadlines and tackle challenging design projects with a unique and creative touch. She puts forth much effort in making professional designs to meet clients' requests. Keep up the good work, Carmen. It's a privilege to have you in class. 
William Wagner from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Mr. Cochran for his positive attitude in the Digital Media Studio One class. I'm so glad to have Will in Digital Media Studio, who has a very positive and hardworking attitude while overcoming adversity. Will just smiles and shares a chuckle when facing challenges, then continues to do his best. Thank you, Will. Business Management and Technology. Tachyon Allen from Hickman High School, nominated by Mr. Finn for his positive attitude in the marketing class. Tachyon has found his niche in marketing. I've known this since the day he stayed after our Zoom class lecture to talk more in depth about marketing. He asked great questions and made even better comments. He has shown by his enthusiasm that he really enjoys the subject and comes to class every single day ready to learn something new. He has been a pleasure to have in class. Gabriel Clifton from Battle High School, nominated by Ms. Lenz for her positive attitude in the marketing class. Gabrielle has made the most of our virtual marketing class. She shows up to Zoom with a smile on her face and is always willing to participate. She isn't afraid to try to answer the tough questions and is a great role model for her classmates. I've seen her willingness to interact with her peers and watch her bring positivity to the class each day. Gabrielle has also branched out and joined DECA and I have no doubt she will prove to be successful. Sophia Elfrink from Hickman High School, nominated by Mr. Finn for her initiative and responsibility in the marketing class. Sophia is amazing. I don't know a student who has handled, vir handled virtual learning with more determination than she has. She never misses a class and is always engaged in our discussion. Her work is also among the best every single time. She is a pleasure, pleasure to have in class. I hope she competes in DECA this spring. She will be a formidable opponent. Wyatt Heaney from Centralia High School, nominated by Mr. Fraze for his positive attitude in the Advanced IT Projects class. In my four years as a CACC instructor, I have few students who have been with me from the beginning. Wyatt is one of them and has shared a good morning, life stories, and a smile with me during that time. He treats his fellow students with an exorbitant amount of respect and decency. Traditionally, advanced students are utilized to help teach, work with classroom technical equipment, and investigate new technologies. This year has thrown a wrench in that plan, yet it does not phase Wyatt. He shows up every day for both the introduction to networking and routing and switching class meetings every day. He adds value to the class by asking questions and often points out mistakes I am making, always in a positive way. He plans on attending state tech next year and they are lucky to have him. It's a pleasure, Wyatt, to nominate you for this award. Clayton Jackson from Hickman High School, nominated by Mr. Fraze for his reliability in the Information Technology 2 class. Clayton continues to rise in technical curiosity and interest. He never misses a Zoom meeting and always turns in his assignments. During this pandemic, I take comfort in knowing Clayton will always be on the Zoom call and paying attention to the lecture. His work is solid and tasks are completed on time. In addition to those wonderful qualities, he is one fine jazz guitar player. He has played for the class a few times and is amazing. His reliable behavior and his willingness to stay focused during these trying times will benefit him greatly in the future. Isabel Clythermes from Tolton Catholic High School, nominated by Mr. Graham for her initiative and responsibility in the C++ programming class. Isabel is not only on top of things, but is proactive in requesting resources. Because of her advocacy, there are more materials for all students to support their learning outside of class time. She does a phenomenal job of staying on track despite various scheduling issues. Thank you, Isabel. Yeshemibet Menon from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Ms. Simpson for her reliability in the entrepreneurship class. Hardworking and a great listener are just two ways that Yeshemibet exemplifies reliability. She is always willing to communicate in class and does so with warmth and kindness in her interactions. This award is well earned and I'm pleased to have the opportunity to continue to witness her grow and succeed. Congratulations, Bet. Jesse Spratt Plunkett from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Mr. Graham for his positive attitude in the C++ programming class. Jesse approaches each hurdle with a can-do attitude, even when he feels trepidation. He is upbeat and digs in until he solves the problem every time. He works with peers and supports them as well. 
Hannah Chai from Hickman High School, nominated by Mr. Graham for her initiative and responsibility in the C++ programming class. It is hard to single out only one positive aspect with Hannah. She is the first one in class and always on top of things. She asks questions and takes complete ownership of her learning and work. Additionally, Hannah probes into things and asks forward-facing questions, getting herself ready for the journey before it even begins. Devin Turner from Hickman High School, nominated by Mr. Finn for his reliability in the sports and entertainment marketing class. Devin is my leader in sports and entertainment marketing. In the three years I've had the pleasure of working with him, I have seen him become the guy other students look to for direction. He leads by his example of hard work and respect for others. He also has one of the friendliest personalities in all my classes. He's a class act with a great work ethic. Other students can tell a leader when they see one and Devin is that person in class and in DECA. Steven Zulo from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Ms. Lenz for his initiative and responsibility in the marketing class. I have noticed throughout the semester that Steven's initiative is unmatched. He is always the first to double check due dates and has never missed a class meeting. He takes the responsibility of reaching out when he needs clarification on an assignment and isn't afraid of being challenged. He always joins in class discussions and speaks up when no one else will. Steven joined DECA this year and I have no doubt he will succeed. Engineering and Industrial Technology. Grace Arnold from Battle High School, nominated by Mr. Howell for her positive attitude in the computer-aided Design One class. Grace has the absolute best student attitude out of all my students this year. As we learn virtually, you can consistently tell she has a smile on his face as it reflects in her voice. When other students show up to class, she usually beats me in welcoming them. She praises her peers when they demonstrate their progress on projects and assignments. Her attitude is contagious and I'm glad to have caught it. Margaret Condict from Tolton Catholic High School, nominated by Mr. Howell for her initiative and responsibility in the computer-aided Design One class. Maggie consistently shows her initiative and responsibility. Since we are learning virtually, she is practically in a class all by herself. Despite that fact, she shows up to class each day ready to work and learn something new. She then takes what she learns and goes above and beyond, usually working ahead of curriculum goals. It is amazing to have her in class and see her driven personality. Joseph Jack Keen from Battle High School, nominated by Mr. Chapin for his initiative and responsibility in the Certified Welding One class. Jack never misses a class or turns in late assignments. During the virtual phase of my class, where it could be easy to slack off or not pay attention, Jack takes his responsibilities seriously. He shows up every day with a good attitude and ready to work. He is not afraid to ask questions or face new challenges in the skills he is learning. His questions are always inquisitive and meaningful. It is obvious to anyone nearby that Jack is here to learn and work hard, and he intends to get the most out of every day. Tuan Kai from Hickman High School, nominated by Mr. Monroe for his professionalism in the Automotive Technology One class. In the little time that I have known Tuan in class, he has shown that he can lead in a group setting. Tuan shows up to class every day ready to work and takes on any challenge that he is faced with. Keep up the good work, Tuan, and congratulations. Trinity Kimbrough from Hickman High School, nominated by Ms. Purcell for her initiative and responsibility in the PLTW Introduction to Engineering Design class. Trinity is a pleasure to have in class. The initiative and aptitude demonstrated toward her work is remarkable. In groups, she is a reliable member and always spurs other members on, asking questions and using her imagination to come up with the best answers or designs. I really think she will develop into a great leader with an open mind and lots of moxie. Savannah Maginess from Hickman High School, nominated by Mr. Mann for her initiative and responsibility in Civil Engineering and Architecture II class. Savannah is an excellent student who always displays initiative and responsibility. In virtual learning, it is easy for students to not fully participate. Savannah consistently shows up to Zoom class early, participating in asking or answering questions, which helps the class learn and run smoothly. Savannah, thank you for being such a great student. I am so proud of you. Lamuel Minor, a homeschool student, nominated by Mr. Radmer for his reliability in the construction and contracting one class. 
Lamuel, in just a short period of time, has been able to demonstrate his reliability. I don't have to worry about a task being completed when he has been asked to help or complete it. Lamuel is a great asset to his classmates. Lewis Parker from Hickman High School, nominated by Mr. Monroe for his initiative and responsibility in the Automotive Technology One class. While we have had many great students each year, some students stand out. Lewis is one of those students. Lewis shows up every day ready to learn and seeks out answers to his questions. He takes on every task with a positive attitude and strives to understand the content. Great job, Lewis. Jake Sam from Battle High School, nominated by Ms. Purcell for his initiative and responsibility in the PLTW Introduction to Engineering Design class. Responsible, resourceful, and ready are three words that best describe Jake. He is always on time for Zoom class, ready to work, and consistently goes above and beyond the assignment. I can always tell the wheels are turning and he is seeking answers to questions so his projects can be outstanding. I love this young man's work ethic and zeal for learning. Jacob Short from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Mr. Radner for his initiative and responsibility in the construction and contracting one class. Jacob knocks every task given out of the park. He is driven and accurately completes his work, both virtually and in the shop. He takes pride in his work and will do amazing things this year. Mary Elizabeth Smith from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Mr. Crosby for her reliability in the PLTW Introduction to Engineering Design class. Mary Beth made the transition to online learning gracefully and has assisted me in many ways. When I introduce a new program or app, she helps us work through it, even if it is new to her as well. When I forget to enable access to a quiz or allow for the submission of an assignment online, Mary Beth communicates with me to assure that it gets done. All of this, and she is kind and gracious and always willing to help another student in need. Her work is excellent. It is a pleasure and privilege having her in class. Graydon Tinker from Centralia High School, nominated by Mr. Mann for his initiative and responsibility in the PLTW Civil Engineering and Architecture class. Graydon is a great student who always shows great initiative and responsibility. During our challenging times of online learning, Graydon is always early to Zoom class, continually participating, which encourages the whole class to get involved. Thank you, Graydon. Health Services. Simone Acock from Hickman High School, nominated by Ms. Riley for her reliability in the professions and healthcare class. Focused and determined, Simone makes it makes it to every virtual and in-person professions and healthcare class and is always the first student to arrive. She consistently turns in her assignments on time and is always prepared to answer a question when asked. I truly look forward to seeing Simone grow this school year and see where life takes her after graduation. She's going to do great things. Alyssa Baugh from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Ms. Riley for her professionalism in the professions and healthcare class. Elisa shows up every day ready to learn, either via Zoom or in person. If something prevents her from attending class, she always communicates with me. She is focused, determined, respectful, positive, and reliable, and appears truly grateful for what she has. She exhibits professionalism beautifully, and I cannot wait to see where life takes her. Lillian Colbert from Battle High School, nominated by Mr. Holtz for her professionalism in the Advanced Emergency Services class. Lillian is a straightforward student in our advanced emergency services class. She is, utilized, she is util, utilizing the class as a step toward her future career as a physis, physician assistant. Lillian is always in proper uniform, even when not required. Lillian's technical skills are advanced and she quickly grasps the concept of each skills station. Lillian's patient bedside manner is professional and confident, yet remains open to recommendations and feedback, showing her desire to learn. She will make an excellent physician assistant. Albert, Albertine Kashindi from Hickman High School, nominated by Mr. Holtz for her positive attitude in the intro to emergency services class. Albertine arrives to our first class of the day right on time with her camera on and ready to learn something new. It is hard for a class that is so hands-on to be learned virtually. Albertine does not let that discourage her. She remains positive and devises creative ways to demonstrate her skills. 
Albertine loves to challenge information with her point of view, but accepts with the utmost grace and positivity when that view is not validated based on facts and clinical data. She is the best at learning from those conversations. What is most impressive, she is an English language learner, which can be frustrating, but does not use it as a crutch and focuses on the classwork she's been challenged to learn. Mariana Mendoza Castro from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Mr. Holtz for her professionalism in the Intro to Emergency Services class. Mariana is the definition of professionalism. I could nominate her for several categories, but this is her strongest suit. As we are learning hands-on skills in a virtual format, students must record themselves performing skills such as splinting a fracture, bleeding control, medical assessments, etc. You could use Mariana's videos as instructional videos. She utilizes proper medical terminology, uses the equipment provided properly, and has the patient bedside manner of a seasoned veteran. There is a consistent understanding and comprehending of material. Mariana performs comprehensive skills at an advanced level. She will be highly sought after in the future, no matter the field she chooses. Mia Perez from Hickman High School nominated by Ms. Stolkowski for her initiative and responsibility in the PLTW Principles of Biomedical Science class. Mia consistently rises to meet and exceed expectations. She attends our class Zooms regularly and submits thorough work. Furthermore, she asks questions via email to confirm she understands assignment expectations. In addition to being reliable, Mia also demonstrates professionalism. Her emails are respectful, thorough, and easy to understand. It is a privilege to have Mia in class. Keep up the excellent work. Dakota Salem from Battle High School, nominated by Mr. Holtz for her initiative and responsibility in the Advanced Emergency Services class. Dakota is an all around great student. She arrives on time in uniform and is always prepared and does not have to be called upon to demonstrate. She volunteers. I have seen Dakota on several occasions advising students not quite grasping the material. Dakota showed her true colors as a community member when she volunteered to drive a classmate to our class every day who was experiencing bus route issues. Dakota exemplifies what this profession is all about, helping thy neighbor. Allison Schooley from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Ms. Roberson for her initiative and responsibility in the PLTW Human Body Systems class. I have appreciated Allison's initiative this term, particularly in the virtual environment. Allison is always fully engaged in class and anticipating what should come next. Allison's initiative and professionalism in asking questions when visuals and audio don't match has benefited her class greatly. Allison, I wanted to be certain I screen shared that you embody the I can spirit. Congratulations. Ethan Vanderwerk from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Ms. Roberson for his positive attitude in the PLTW Human Body Systems class. Ethan consistently attends class with a positive attitude and is willing to embrace each class activity. His positive attitude and willingness to step forward means that he is often the spokesperson for this breakout groups. Ethan seems to be positively fearless in embodying the I can spirit. Congratulations, Ethan. Christine Waru from Hickman High School, nominated by Ms. Solkowski for her initiative and responsibility in the PLTW Principles of Biomedical Science class. Christine takes initiative both in and out of class to maximize her learning. During our class Zooms, she asks questions to confirm she fully understands the content. She also utilizes office hours to get answers to her questions. Outside of virtual learning, she participates in HOSA, Future Health Professionals, and is interested in becoming an officer in the future. Nice work, Christine. Human Services. Lily Bennett from Battle High School, nominated by Chef Miner for her respect and integrity in the Culinary Arts One class. Lily has been a pleasure to have in class, both online and in the tr traditional class setting. While learning virtually, I can count on Lily to show up to class Zooms with her camera on, which is appreciated. When we were able to meet in person, she showed the same respect. From day one, she has been on time and present. She is also polite and works well with others. Lily shows great work ethic that goes above and beyond. She takes initiative and finds tasks such as cleaning or helping a classmate instead of waiting to be told what to do. Keep up the great work, Lily. 
Sharat Lopez May from Hickman High School, nominated by Chef Rail for her initiative and responsibility in the Culinary Arts One class. Sharat exhibits the perseverance that you look for in a great employee. She is determined to always get skills and techniques right and consistently shows a sense of urgency to complete tasks accurately, diligently, and patiently. I am truly lucky to have Sharat as one of my students this year and can't wait to see what she accomplishes next. Thank you for everything, Sharat. Aaron Stewart from Battle High School, nominated by Chef Miner for his respect and integrity in the Culinary Arts II class. It's been a pleasure to have Aaron in our Culinary Arts program. Aaron consistently goes above and beyond in class and he is one of the politest students I have ever had. He is always, always respectful to me and his classmates. This year has been challenging with online learning. However, Aaron has maintained a positive attitude. He always shows up for class Zooms with his camera on, and when we were able to meet in person for class, I knew I could count on him to be present and on time every day. I look forward to seeing where Aaron goes in his career path. He will for sure be a welcomed asset to a future employer. Natural Resources, Agriculture. Max Bott from Battle High School, nominated by Ms. Hempen for his initiative and responsibility in the Greenhouse Productions class. Max loves to help in any way he can, whether it is sharing his knowledge, helping me or a classmate, or volunteering within the class. He is eager to learn and brings a lot of knowledge to the class. I enjoy his interest in the subject matter and discussing plant-related activities with him. I have already learned some cool things from Max. I look forward to next semester and learning more from one another. Alexis Bremer from Rockbridge High School nominated by Mr. Duncan for her initiative and responsibility in the advanced animal science class. Lexi is an excellent student in our advanced animal science class. She has great attendance and is very interested in the subject matter while being one of the most reliable students in the class. Lexi is serving as the Rockbridge FFA vice president and has taken a leadership role in planning our local virtual meetings this semester. Lexi demonstrates all the attributes of an I can student. Nice work, Lexi. Eliza DeClue from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Ms. Rodeker for her initiative and responsibility in the floral and plant design class. Eliza demonstrates initiative and responsibility in each class Zoom meeting. With the new mode of education, Eliza still gives a personal touch to her learning. She interacts, gives input, and asks questions as needed. She maintains a positive attitude through this new adventure and completes her work on time and thoroughly. It is a pleasure to have her in class. Kaylin Deshawn from Battle High School, nominated by Mr. Praisewater for her positive attitude in the animal and veterinary science class. Kaylin always comes to class prepared with a great attitude. She consistently shows her willingness to go above and beyond what is expected. While working through the year's obstacles, she continues to keep a smile on her face. I am impressed with her willingness to do what is necessary for the greater good of the class. Her cheerful attitude make, makes class during these uncertain times a whole lot brighter. Gentry Duncan from Rockbridge High School, nominated by Mr. Duncan for his positive attitude in the animal and veterinary science class. Gentry is a bright and pleasant young person. He has a positive attitude that flows over to other students in the animal and veterinary science class and the Columbia FFA organization. Gentry is always willing to help students in class that need a question answered. He is the type of student that will be successful in whatever he decides to do. Great job, Gentry. Cole Hartwick from Battle High School, nominated by Ms. Hempen for his reliability in the natural resources and wildlife conservation class. Cole has attended every class Zoom for natural resources and wildlife conservation during this unconventional school year. Not only is he at every Zoom, he also logs on early and is routinely the first person to class. Reliability is a wonderful trait to have. I hope Cole understands how much this means to teachers as well as his future employers. I appreciate his attentiveness, reliability, and willingness to com communicate in and out of class. I hope to have him in person for class in the future. Lexi Sutton from Battle High School, nominated by Mr. Praisewater for her initiative and responsibility in the animal and veterinary science class. Lexi has been a go-getter ever since I met her this past summer at the fair. Her willingness to go above and beyond shines through with selflessness in tow. Lexi constantly cranks out 
thoughtful and well-created projects and assignments. I am very excited to see what the next three years in agriculture classes in FFA has in store for Lexi. Samuel Tummins from Hickman High School, nominated by Ms. Howell for his gratitude in the animal and veterinary science class. Sam shows up every day to our Zoom meetings with his camera on, ready to listen. Sam is usually the only one with his camera on and interacting with me as an instructor. He is respectful and courteous with each interaction. I can always count on Sam to break the ice during every Zoom. I am truly lucky to have him as one of my students and, and am especially thankful during this virtual time. He helps make my job more enjoyable. Julian Weisner from Battle High School, nominated by Ms. Rodeker for her initiative and responsibility in the floral and plant design class. Julianne exemplifies initiative and responsibility. She participates in every Zoom class, is the first to complete and turn in assignments that are both thorough and thoughtful and does not hesitate to ask questions or participate actively in class. I could not ask for a more motivated student with a great positive attitude and eagerness to learn. Congratulations again to our students. We also invite our families to attend the 2021 Virtual Career Showcase Thursday, January 14th, 2021 from 6 to 8 p.m. Discover the wealth of opportunities available to area students. Join live Zooms with instructors and students, view examples of student work, and see how CACC classes are relevant to student success. Enjoy raffles from our local partners. Find unexpected discoveries. To register, visit www.career-center.org. Thank you and have a great day.